Hi, Mary G from New York again. And tonight I want to speak to you a little bit about some really neat things I heard Lisa Kidder speak about today on the wake up call, the 11 a.m. Extreme Team wake up call. Uh, what was so neat about it, it was bringing together the whole idea of what we say and how we speak actually is a giveaway to our mindset. And a lot of us think that our mindset is, you know, already set and we're, we're doing great and all this stuff. But when we come across um, in words or chat rooms or Facebook or when someone asks us how we are and we use words that are so disempowering, it really gives you a key on the mindset of the person. And Lisa happens to have been a coach, a uh, business coach for many years, about, I think she uh, recalled 16 years in the industry of helping people in business change their mindset so they can actually be very successful. So I want to start with some simple things that she had said, which are so incredible. Uh, certain words like um, need, we don't really need anything. When we say we need, it's, it's a lack. So instead of need, it's um, kind of like um, uh, we deserve. We deserve. So to, to look at something like instead of saying I need this, uh, no, you don't need it. Uh, you deserve it. So that's a whole has a different power to it. Um, oh, I need this, or I deserve this, is a whole different thing. Even if I said it as, I need this, or I deserve this. Y you feel that? It's very different. It's a different inner feeling when I use those words, so I know the difference. And then when people ask you something, and then they say, um, well, maybe. It's kind of like a wishy-washy kind of a answer, but don't most people say, and you ask them, oh, you're going to do this, or have you taken action on that, or what do you think about this? They go, well, maybe. How about, well, definitely. Now, definitely is a purposeful, powerful word, isn't it? <laughs> it has a different meaning and feeling to that word. And it's basically, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a yes answer, but it's a definite yes, where the maybe is um, you really don't think you're going to do it, do you? When you say maybe, you're almost saying, well, I don't really think I'm going to do it, but it might happen, okay? So those words you really want to eliminate from your vocabulary. And Lisa was saying one of her tricks was, and I heard this before, I don't know if it was Tony Robbins or one of the other great uh, motivational speakers and business coaches, uh, they say put a, I, I, actually I think it was uh, uh, T. Harv Ecker, because I went to his Millionaire Mind uh, program when it first came out in Brooklyn and in New York, and he said, put a rubber band around your wrist, and every time you caught yourself, because it's all about awareness, using one of these words, or not thinking like a millionaire, but like thinking in lack, pull it, and let it hit you, and it's quite an interesting reminder. I don't know if that's good or bad or right or wrong, it doesn't matter, but whatever works for you is important. I found out that once you're aware of some something and you constantly open yourself up to want that feedback from your friends and people, that actually they'll catch you saying some things. And I have praised my friends when they said, oh, did you really want to say that was too much, Mary? <laughs> like, oh, that was just too much. It was, And I was saying it in a positive way. Oh, that's too much. It was great. It was too much. My friend looked at me and said, oh. Could anything be too much? And I go, nope. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate that feedback. It was great. M more, more. Never never have too much. You can never have too much because it is an abundant world. So I thought that was really interesting. So I myself still, after knowing all, I don't use those other words as often, and I've changed a lot of my uh, thinking writing patterns and speaking patterns um, because I've been aware for uh, I'd say about a year now really consciously working at this I still slip at times too uh, you're around other people you're not really thinking you're not on top of it so when I'm called on it I love it some people get upset but I love it because if I choose to do a change a transformation and I slip just so little and someone catches me and says, Oop, did you really want to say that? And I can say, nope, thank you very much, and appreciate that, and go from there, then I will not forget it the next time, because I know that. Instead of letting it slide, then it's so much more apt to happen the next time. So th those two words are her first two. And then, try versus will. Well, I'll try to do this. Oh, are you going to do that? Try. Well, maybe I'll try. 
try, you can't try. You either lift your hand up or you don't. You don't try to lift your hand up. It either goes up or you don't. And when you say you're going to try, it's similar to saying maybe. You're not expecting it to. So if you say, I will do this, it has a different energy, a different feel. So try versus will. So I really uh, love that. And she said that we do to truly deserve everything that we desire. And when we have that mindset, uh, we'll expect that. And it's it won't be like, I want to make a certain amount of money. When somebody says, well, what's your goal? And you go, well, I'd like to make 2000 a month or 10000 a month. I want to. Wanting is lack. So I will, and this is how I will do it. Instead of I want it, and this is how I'll try to do it. So there's a whole different energy in that. So it was a very powerful morning, and I I loved how she used examples. The other example I'll just briefly share with you was uh, she was talking about somebody and a weight loss. Somebody wanted to lose some weight. So instead of saying, you know, uh, it, what they started was, I want to lose 10 pounds this week or two weeks. Let's make it, uh, I want to lose 10 pounds over the next two weeks. And one way to say it's strong is instead of, I want to lose the weight is I will release this 10 pounds in the next two weeks. So it's a, it's a, it's a proactive, I will do it. And she talked about a little kin, 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 I never could say this word. This is really interesting. I could see it spelt, but I can't say um, kin, 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 or whatever it is, but it's using your own force. And uh, she talked about, uh, holding your fingers in this figure eight position, having the other person do it, and, and a asking them to say, you know, I will try to lose the weight. I will try to lose weight. And the hands can be pulled apart easily because you can't try anything. So your subconscious knows that you're not telling the truth. And then when you say, I will, the subconscious holds on to that and will just make you stronger than you can imagine. And that's what's so interesting about that, that tester that people do with their energy. Oh, I wish I could remember how to say that word properly. Anyway, you get the picture. Uh, she used that in an example as well as the rubber band as far as um, changing how we think and our patterns. And that was very powerful because when you truly set your target goals and you truly know what you're going towards, you don't want to go half ass, half, you know, half heartedly. You must be in alignment with your head, thinking about it, with your heart, feeling what it would be like to be in that situation, to have it now. So all your talk, all your writing, everything about your energy needs to be in a forward motion of, of power if you choose that result. So you deserve it. Choose I will. I deserve it. And will and deserve and, um, you know, uh, the maybe is the deserve, right. Or maybe is the uh, definite. Will, deserve, and definitely will do it. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this. Start being more aware of your thoughts and especially your words in your Facebook group, in your writing emails to people. Use those positive, powerful words and start to envision yourself having it all and being that which you desire. Be the change you really want to see in this world. Be the change that you deserve to be in this world and the world will change around you. So. We could always tweak that up. We could always get better and better every day. So one of my mottos is, um, I am getting better and better every day. And all of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. So I hope all of life comes to you with ease, joy, and glory as well. And have an awesome night. Awesome is a choice. Life's a choice. What we say is a choice. We always have choice. And don't let anybody tell you that you do not have choice because you do. And don't let anybody tell you that you cannot do something because you can. I believe in you. Hopefully you'll believe in you. And you will do what you choose to do. And you'll be happy. So have a great night and talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hi, Mary here again. I'm just going to add a quick little thing to the end of this. Uh, I learned how to uh, pronounce the word kinesiology 
and it means it's a, a muscle, it's a manual muscle testing technique, very scientific, <laughs> and it's a form of diagnosing using muscle testing as a primary feedback mechanism to examine how a person's body is functioning. So it's called kinesiology, and it's in my blog. So you, the proper spelling is at the P.S. at the bottom of the blog post. Okay, so enjoy. Talk to you soon. Bye.